a Politicon. Uh, Tommy Lauren was was debating Chelsea Handler, and um, we talk a lot about how Republicans uh, and conservatives in general have enormous empathy gaps until they personally experience something. Rob Portman supported marriage equality when one of his children came out of the closet. Uh, other people, uh, at, at you know, and, uh, potentially, I don't know. I I agree with Sam that. John McCain, I'm sure, primarily voted to kill repeal because of a side deal on the NDAA, and he likes the attention, and it's good for his brand. But I also wouldn't be shocked if there was, you know, the call from Biden talking with him about his son having the same form of brain cancer. That might have been 5% of the calculation as well. At any rate, we're used to, you know, the old cliche that liberals get mugged by reality. Well, that's basically bullshit, but occasionally conservatives get mugged by an incredibly narrow experience of empathy. Tomi Lauren, who I don't know where she is now, uh, last of, uh, of the blaze where she, she left after a major melodrama. After having Glenn Beck uh, melt down, basically. After she made, yeah, Glenn Beck had a major meltdown because she said she was pro-choice or something, and then it turned into a whole kind of mean girls fight between the two of them. Now she's out roaming around trying to build her brand, and there's limits to it. And uh, uh, one of the limits is that she's really fundamentally not bright. And the other thing is a moment like this at Politicon where she actually is having an amazing conservative experience, which is that it's not even someone close to her that is getting the benefit of something that she opposes. It's literally her. She just needs empathy for herself, and she still doesn't get it. This is pretty amazing. In the favor, you know, if and when they need it, most people end up needing medical care. It's not like elective Right. Right. No, I understand. It's kind of like a basic fundamental right. Right. But not for me. I, don't, I believe it is my right to purchase health care. I don't believe it's my right to pay for it for other people. I also think that the universal health care system. Pause it. No one said it was your right to pay for it for other people. It's things like, duty. like a obligation to make any type of shared insurance plan work. Anyways, go ahead. It's so easy for us to say, well, you th I, I can sit here and say, you just want government control, and you can sit here and say, oh, you hate sick and poor people. And that's a discussion I don't want to have that. Well, luckily, that's not one we're having. Yeah. But for me, we all want what's best for people. I just believe that limited government Pars is the way to do it. Sorry. Let me just par uh, parachute in and say, I want the government control of health care, and you hate sick and poor people or are completely oblivious to them. All right, go ahead. Government is the way to do it. I don't think that government does well in health care. I think it's... It's proven by the VA that the government doesn't do well in health care. So we need to find alternatives. What's, what's right now is not working. What we had before Obamacare was not working. I think you increase competition. I think that's the way to do it. And I also believe in, in allowing states to take more control. I think that that will help them effectively manage their own citizens because every state is so different. I think putting more in the hands of the states. If you have a state that needs to expand Medicaid and you need those Medicaid dollars, then that state needs to decide it for itself. But every state isn't created equal. And I, that's where I align on that. It's just... I think that the, the free marketplace does better. Than okay, so do you have a health care plan or no? Well, luckily, I'm 24, so I'm, I am still on my parents. And to, to say... <laughs> Well, I would hope that most conservatives wouldn't believe any free single tenant of Obamacare is bad because it is the center-right option for protecting consumers and private health insurance and expanding access. Uh, the fact that she could just go on that diatribe, and there's probably only one other person I could think of in public life that knows as little about health care as Tommy Lauren, and that's, of course, the president. The fact that she can conclude that with cockily saying, oh, I'm still in my parents plan which of course is purely a function of the accomplishment of obamacare that's government and in, in, in health that's insurance. government and health insurance seems to be working pretty well for this disingenuous breathtakingly stupid person you're and welcome. chelsea yeah you're welcome maybe we should get rid of it for young white girls 
And the fact that, and, and, I, and this is a really, this is the, you know, this is a absolute spec and very small complaint. And I think actually Chelsea Handler does a good job here. But I don't, like, what is this points for honesty? I mean, I'm glad that she was honest because we get to have a clip of showing her being a immoral, clueless moron. But, like, I don't, I th this notion that there's something so innately important about, like, oh, well, you're being honest in public discourse, it, so... Well, that's what's weird. She's about, being honest, revealing how disgusting and uninformed she is. That's what weird. That's what's weird about Tommy Lauren is. I've always said she's too young and not ready for prime time like this. But now she's here because Glenn Beck has helped launch her. Right. Uh, but she, she's. But I've been proven right in a sort of way in that she's not. She doesn't like the abortion thing, right? She's willing to go off of that line, right? And she's also like most conservative pundits won't say. We think we don't think it's all bad with Obamacare. Well, you are saying a lot of certain things about what you think the government should do with health care. And then you realize that actually applied, oh, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Right. Right. Yeah, exactly. Um, she won't get better. And she's too young for prime time. Both are true. She's gonna be a centristy liberal in like two years. You think so? Yeah. Wow. The Anna Navarro thing. There's more money there, I think. Is Anna Navarro, has she become a full centrist liberal? She's all like, well, she's a resistance Republican. Yeah, but here's the thing with Anna Navarro. Anna Navarro's whole business was built on Republicans doing an autopsy and saying we need to start actually not totally alienating Hispanic voters. So her whole consulting line was, I'll be your you know, Hispanic comms and I'll, you know, teach you how to talk to those constituents while basically being hostile to them, consultant. Under Trump, where's that business opportunity? Like, what republic, you know, what Republican right now is thinking about their Hispanic outreach strategy? So then her business, like just as a personal business opposition position, it's like, yeah, I'll become the you know, Republican informer on CNN. But I don't know, but I, I don't know. I mean, Tommy Lauren can ride out, like she can write a million, like, you know, this is why like gay Muslims are taking your guns and book. She can, you know, I mean, there's, it's just, it's very easy work. Yeah. I mean, but I just feel like her, her habit of wanting to stray into the more, the type of things you could say when you're, let's say meeting with the people on the breakfast club, <laughs> Well, like, that could be true. Like that's that's we she, just need, she, she needs, needs, needs to, to visit to New York a couple more times, and she's like, "Wait a second. Like she has a need to be accepted by mainstream culture. You know what? That would be the end. That's a good point. Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL. And you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.